Wow. This CM Punk sign is, 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 man, it has drudged up a ton of anger and fighting, just like everything in the country. But here's the thing. I'm going to tell you exactly what the problem with this is. CM Punk holding up this sign. Uh, the problem is it's so vague, nobody knows what it really means. Do you know what I'm saying? Some people are angry that CM Punk is bringing politics into wrestling. Some people are mad that he's saying to protect children because protect children doesn't really mean protect children to everybody, right? So the idea of protecting trans kids and uh, LGBTQ kids and things like that could be letting them get surgery at six years old. So mutilating a six-year-old because the six-year-old says so um, and then later the kid regrets it is not good, right? Um, however, how, you know, taking care of kids and, uh, so that they don't get picked on, hurt, and, and who knows, harmed because of who they are is also important, right? So that's the problem. You won't get anybody that agrees on this, so the two sides are going to fight because one side thinks that it's abuse to not protect children and who they are. But, the, uh, but some of the times that involves transitioning a child when they're three years old or four years old, which is absolutely ridiculous. And every, but most people agree with that. That that's, that's chi- that'd be child abuse, you know, trying to steer a kid in a direction um, and then or mutilating them later at a certain age. I mean, like, so that's why you're not going to see people agreeing on this CM Punk sign. So that's the problem. But if you oppose the CM Punk sign, then those people think that you're anti-transgender, anti-LGBTQ. So you're never going to get people agreeing because they can't even agree on what the statement of this sign means. I think CM Punk's heart is in the right place or it means well by saying this. I think he's just trying to support... uh, you know what I mean? People who are different or, or kids that might be different um, or kids that might be trans. Um, and if that's the case, then there's nothing really wrong with that to me. But the problem is this falls under the same umbrella as, you know, kids who are, you know, being taken over by big pharma doctors, the government and crazy parents with Munchausen's, uh, Munchausen, Munchausen's syndrome. I can't speak apparently. So you have to look at all that stuff and realize that there's a big spectrum of what this sign really means. And that's why no one will really agree on it. So therefore, you're going to see people saying punk is disgusting and terrible. And you're also going to see people saying punk is absolutely right. F all these bigots, you know, that sort of thing. These two opposite sides of the spectrum. When really... The truth is somewhere in the middle, but also the sign is vague at best. But then again, when it all comes down to it, CM Punk is the same guy who says AJ Styles is a racist. But AJ Styles says he's not, and the New Day, who are black, say he's not. But CM Punk, who is white, says he is. CM Punk also doesn't have kids, won't have kids, and is a kind of a wild crazy person so i really don't know what to tell you cm punk reminds me of the type of person that would knock out and punch a drunk man or a person drinking just because he doesn't believe in alcoholism and doesn't believe in hurting your body that way or because he doesn't do it he thinks you should pay a severe potential physical price for doing something different Uh, than what he does. So it's hard to say exactly who the good guys are here or not. Regardless of that, leave your comments down below and let me know what you think about this sign. And if you feel really strongly, hit the super thanks heart button. And whoever donates on this video or leaves a super thanks, I will pin you to the top of it. Um, And I will certainly uh, use your comment or question if Uh, if it applies in my next uh, follow-up video. What do you guys think about this? What do you think about what I've said? I know that what I've said is a bit, even what I've said is a bit vague, but I guess the point is that we don't really know what he means exactly. You know what I mean? Does he mean it's okay for parents to saw off a kid's privates at four years old and that's protecting them? Uh, Or does he just mean people who don't accept people for who they are? And see, there's a line of people accepting who you are and people who are manipulating who you are. 
So it's like both things are kind of true. So, but overall, his statement means the good faith, real people who are who they are, you know, protect them. So I think that's what his overall statement means. But uh, he is getting blown up on Twitter right now, and people have had enough of any of this sort of stuff. And um, it's not it's not the bigots that that have had enough of it. It's regular people, a lot of people that have had enough of it. So, um, you know, I just don't. I caution everybody who thinks that either CM Punk supports grooming kids or or, or you know mutilating kids. And the people that think that if you oppose CM Punk, they're 100% like bigots and they're whatever. That Those are not the cases. Are those people there? Yes, they are in the fight, but are in the argument. But most people in the argument are just sort of arguing because they don't understand what this statement really means. Because there's no way to unless it was commented on. This is uh, Joe Cronin. This is the Joe Cronin Show. Leave a like, comment, and please share this video everywhere you can so we can maybe discuss it. And uh, maybe this will someone will hear this, um, my comments here, and they will clarify their stance on what it means to protect uh, children uh, of that group. You know what I mean? Because I think, I think I obviously support, you know, protecting all children and support protecting uh, anybody who's being attacked. I don't like bullies. I hate bullies. But bullies can also be people that manipulate who you are, who kids are, for their own benefit. Whether that's making them be in dance pageants, whether that's making them become a girl so they can have clout on TikTok, um, whether that's, you know, having surgeries on them too young, whether that's bringing them to get a tattoo that they, why do they need this tattoo? Um, I've seen religious people. I've seen religious people take children to get religious tattoos. I think that's the similar. You know, making your child get branded in the name of Christ because you th- have some religious thing that you had to do. I think that's weird. Um, but also, children can't even get tattoos, but they can get you know surgeries. It's very strange. So we we need to start figuring out uh, why children can't make so many decisions but yet they can make a life-altering decision uh like this um even if even if we pretty much know that they are going to become a woman someday and that they really you know because you know when you're you've seen people when they're younger and you're like this is something off like i think they're supposed to be a girl yeah and then later on they they become a girl and you're like yeah we always knew this about about you um but that that doesn't always pan out that way so you know what i mean you got to have an open mind about this thing it's a very complicated thing the brain is very complicated uh the spectrum of the brain and and how you feel about whatever is very complicated um and i think this is a very complicated uh thing uh and i think people taking hard left and right um sides on it are really that's why they're having such war right now on twitter um all right I'm done babbling. I'll see you guys later.